Boy, another make it make sense. Please pause to read. Yes, a ton of people are leaving Colorado after the spring game. Yeah, Transfer Portal is alive and well. But can somebody tell me where the big surprise in all of this is? Look, Colorado last year was awful. They were 1-11, and and they were lucky to win the one. They had an awful roster. They were an awful football team. Plain and simple, no ifs, ands, or buts. They sucked. I mean, and from the very first meeting that he had with the team, I mean, he told them, hey, if you can't tough it out, we need you to get out, get in the portal. So that's what people are doing. And there was plenty of people that said, you know what? I'm going to stick around. I'm going to try this thing. Let's go through spring and let's just see what happens. And apparently they went through spring and they figured out, you know what? This isn't for me. Either I don't like it or it's too tough, whatever the case may be. And they're leaving. But this was expected. But I don't see how this is any different from any other school when there's a new coach, whether it's basketball or football, when there's a new coaching staff, people leave. And a lot of them leave. So this is only news because it's Dion. That, that's the only reason. It's because it's Prime. If it's not him, then everybody thinks this is a normal thing and it's not that big of a deal because this is a normal thing and it's not that big of a deal. And if you're a Colorado fan... You got to be ecstatic because, again, your roster was horrible. You want the turnover. You want the guys to leave, okay? And, yes, you're going to have some talented guys that leave, too. That's just the nature of the beast of what college sports is today. But the bottom line is they couldn't have been that talented because, again, you were terrible last year. Terrible. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there again. These expectations that people keep talking about Colorado and, oh, they're going to win seven, eight games. They're going to be that. No, no, man. No, they're not. They're not going to win that many games. They're not that good. I mean, just looking at the spring alone, you know that they are undersized. It is going to be a problem. Those guys in the trenches, it's going to be a problem. And I'll say it right now. If Colorado wins six games, Dion's got to be coach of the year. He got to be coach of the year. Because that roster is still not good. When you look at those offensive and defensive lines, not good. Undersized secondary and linebackers, not good. Look, everybody leaves these days in college football, or even college basketball for that matter, under new coaching staffs. That's what happens. Let's pump the brakes, people. Pump the brakes. This is not that big a deal, man. Make it make sense.